What's up guys, Daryl Production Studios here, and today I'm back with another custom minifigure showcase. Today I have three members of the 501st. I have my Captain Rex, my Echo, and my f second version of Fives. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here is my custom clone Captain Rex. Now this is basically an upgraded version, upgraded version of Legos. It's the same exact helmet that LEGO used. I did not change this at all, except for gluing the antenna on the side, which I think looks really nice. And yeah, so let's start off with his weapons. He has... Let me take him off. He has two... Clone Army Customs DC-15 pistols. He calls them Rex pistols, I believe. And one of them just went under my lights. So, here it is. I think that's a really cool Clone Army Customs weapon. Uh, link it will be in the description to Clone Army Customs. So, yeah. Those are his weapons. Now, for his... Uh, shoulder cape I forget what they're called but it's just the clone army custom shoulder cape except this was on my commander wolf except I painted where the sand blue was I painted it blue like my captain rex and for his waist cape it's just a standard lego black waist cape with blue outlining which I think turned out really nice on the back, I didn't do anything. I didn't change it at all. Both arms have a blue stripe going down on each arm. Then on his chest, he has the print, the black printing right there, which I don't like. And then this is a 3D armor or ammo holder like they have on their chest. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on that, just put it down in the comments. It's just a piece of plastic painted black. Then for his legs, they're the Captain Rex legs from the speeder bike set that he came in. As you can see back there, you can see the tally marks on that side and this side. And then I painted the knee pads the same color blue I used for the rest of the figure. So yeah, that's it for Captain Rex. Now let's get on to Echo. Alright guys, so here's my custom Arc Trooper Echo. No, I think this figure turned out really nice. This took me about a week to make. So yeah, his weapon is a Brick Arms DC-15. I use these on a lot of my figures because I think they look really nice. Link to Brick Arms will be in the description below. And yeah, so for his shoulder cloth, it's a, it was a dark red shoulder cloth, Lego shoulder cloth that, that came in that Arch Trooper Battle Pack back in 2012, I believe it was. Except it's painted appropriately with Echo's colors. This side is blue, and this side has no printing, or no painting. Each arm has a blue stripe, even though the top part is hidden by the Shoulder cloth, each arm has the blue stripe. The waist cape is a gray waist cape from the 212th Trooper Battle Pack with the blue markings uh, that Echo has in the show. And for his torso, right here he has the same 3D ammo pack on his chest that Captain Rex has. Sorry, my finger was in the way. And then he has the handprint here. Let me zoom in on that. Now I'm not completely happy with the way that handprint turned out. The paint kind of ran a little bit, but it's the best I could do because my I that was like the third or fourth try I had done to get this torso painted the way I wanted it and I was running out of torsos, which is never a good thing. Now for the back, he has no back painting and he has what I use for the Arc Trooper backpack, which is just one of these modified plates with the rod on the side. 
Now for his helmet, he has the cheek parts filled in in blue there and on the other side. And he has the black antenna glued on to the side right there. And then he has a blue stripe going from the front of his helmet to the back with the blue rounded stripes, I guess you would say, that come down to his visor. So yeah, that's it for Echo. And yeah, now let's get on to Fives 2.0. Alright guys, so here's my Fives version 2. Now, his weapon is the same as Echo's. It is a Brick Arms DC-15 rifle. Again, like I said, link to Brick Arms will be in the description below. But for his shoulder cloth, it is the same thing as Echo's. It was red. That came in the 2012 Arc Trooper Battle Pack. But except for fives, this one on this shoulder is painted white. And this side has nothing on it. He has blue stripes on both of his arms, which I think look nice. And on his chest, he has the triangle blue painting on there. And then his knee pads are painted blue. And yeah, so for his waist cape, this is a much better looking waist cape. It has thinner blue stripes. And I just think it turned out much clearer and thinner. And it looks really nice. Here, just for reference, I have the other Fives waist cape that I used. It does not look very good. <coughs> yeah, I don't like it. So then for his backpack, again, same thing as Echo's. They are both ARC Troopers, so they would have the same armor and backpack. It's the black 1x2 tile with the modified rod on the side. Now for his helmet, this is the exact same helmet I did in my first Fives showcase. Link to that video will be in the description below. So yeah. Um, I'm not going to go over it in too much detail. He has the cheek parts filled in, the blue stripe going down his helmet with the blue coming out, out on the sides and the th three red dots. He has an antenna and then the stripe continuing down the back of his helmet. So yeah guys, that's it for the showcase and now let's go and end off the video. Alright guys, that wraps it up for my Captain Rex, Arc Trooper 5s, and Arc Trooper Echo custom minifigure showcase. I worked really hard on these minifigures, and I would appreciate, if you, appreciate it if you would drop a like down below, because not only the work I put in, but it's a lot of work recording and editing these videos together. So yeah, also be sure to comment down below your thoughts on these figures, and what figures you think I should do next. Also, be sure to like me on Facebook. Link to that will be in the description below. I have a lot of links to put in the description today. But, yeah. So, until next time, guys, this is Daryl Production Studios, signing off.